Good morning, welcome to Breakfast with Dan Walker and Nagat Manchetti. The headlines for you today. VA... Good morning, it's Wednesday, it's the 15th of July. Top story for you this morning is that a £4 billion cut in VAT is coming to force this morning, which is allowing food, drink and hospitality firms to potentially cut their prices. The tax is reduced from 20% to 5% until January. It's to encourage people to, who can spend to go out and help protect jobs. Here's more from our personal finance correspondent, Simon Competz. Now, the rate of COVID-19 infections in England appears to have fallen significantly in May. That's the month before lockdown restrictions began to be eased. This is according to the early results of a study commissioned by the government. Now, the research by Imperial College London is yet to be endorsed by other academics, but its initial findings were welcomed by the House Secretary, Matt Hancock. Let's talk to our political colleague. I should say we're talking to Matt Hancock at half past seven, aren't we, this morning? Yes, House Secretary's going to be live on breakfast this morning. Uh, elsewhere today, Scotland's begun the most significant relaxation of its coronavirus lockdown measures. Hairdressers, bars, restaurants, cinemas, tourist attractions and places of worship can all now reopen. The First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, has described it as the riskiest stage of the process so far. Our Scotland correspondent, Lorna Gordon, explains. A New York judge has ordered that Ghislaine Maxwell should remain in custody until her trial for helping her former boyfriend, Jeffrey Epstein, abuse underage girls. The judge agreed with prosecutors' claims that the 58-year-old was likely to try and leave or flee the US. Our correspondent, Nader Torfi Casmore. China's ambassador in London has criticised the government's decision to exclude Huawei from the UK's 5G networks on national security grounds as disappointing and wrong. The UK government has ordered companies to strip equipment from Huawei out of the system by 2027. Our Asia business correspondent... Hospital admissions for heart attacks dropped by one-third in England as the UK went into lockdown. This is according to new research with its strict anti-graffiti policy. Only there for a while. Very strict anti-graffiti policy. I've just got that. I can't remember. Was it Tum Chumba Wumba? I get back so, down. I get back down. I get knocked down. I get knocked down, but I, I get, get up, up again. again. There's your earworm. What was the earworm we had yesterday? Uh, I don't know. It's always baby shark for me. As soon as I, I don't, I don't know. It's, Chumble, just, it's, just, it's constantly in there. It's just Chumble rotating Chumble Wumble works for me this morning. It works for me this morning. It certainly does. It is 13 minutes past six. Now, cancer treatment can be incredibly gruelling, but how risky is it to reject conventional therapies? Well, Sean Walsh was a young musician from Liverpool who had blood cancer. He turned down chemotherapy and believed he could cure his cancer with alternative treatments. While well, his family has spoken to a BBC Three documentary uh, program maker to warn others not to follow the same approach. Here's more from our health correspondent, Dominic Hughes. As long as the love's still there. <laughs> Wise words, that again. <laughs> It makes a change. Yeah. <laughs> Were you reeling from that? Very deep and meaningful, <laughs> then, yeah. Um, let's, do, let's switch from love to taxes. They're going to be cut for hospitality businesses today. There's a question, though, about whether or not the savings are going to be passed on to punters. Sean's taking a look at this. Morning. Um, Morning. I was just looking at it. I'm sure you... We... At 7.30, live on the programme this morning, and we'll be putting some of your questions to him as well, and a lot of those are about face coverings and uh, what will happen in shops in England from next Friday. Let's move to Scotland, though, because it's begun its most significant relaxation of coronavirus measures since the country went into lockdown. In because We've had lots of comments on social media um, from people who, I suppose, in more normal times, if a business was holding on to the benefits of a VAT cut, there would be very little sympathy. But in these times, this is about how much you can protect holding on to certain workers, because roughly how much would it con contribute in terms of holding on to one member of staff? small businesses and we, we obviously appreciate what you're what you're going through Nick when you look at your customers the ones that you you have you have got um, perhaps the ones that may be coming in how do how, what's the impression you're